despite selling the rights to his brainchild back in 2012. George Lucas will always maintain some kind of connection, force connection that is, <laughs> puns, with the Star Wars universe. Whether it be a few words of wisdom for up and coming actors or general praise for each hard working director, the legendary filmmaker's love for cinema seems to outweigh his need for a peaceful retirement. Seriously, with over $4 billion, I would probably call it quits, but that's neither here nor there. So much so that he's not only visited the set of the forthcoming anthology movie Solo A Star Wars Story, but actually helped craft a specific scene involving the smuggler and his prized starship. And while it may be a small detail, Kathleen Kennedy herself, herself nailed it first take, claims that only fans old and new with massive grins on their faces. Without any further ado, here is how George Lucas helped direct Solo, a Star Wars story. Now it's no secret that George Lucas continues to inspire and influence Disney made Star Wars movies to this very day. In fact, I've already discussed his role in shaping the story of The Last Jedi in a previous video. You should totally check it out, it's really, really fun and good. Yeah. It also goes without saying that he and Ron Howard, the director of Solo A Star Wars Story, are longtime friends whose relationship predates 1977. Howard has even been quoted in describing Lucas as a big brother slash mentor figure. As a result, both men couldn't wait to meet up on the set of the latest Star Wars anthology film. He came by to visit the first day that I picked up shooting. George and his wife Melody came by to pay a little set visit. It made me feel great. Knowing George like he did of course, Howard knew he was in for some words of encouragement and wisdom. He told me just to trust my instincts, you know? I know he kind of fundamentally feels like, first and foremost, these films are sort of for 12 year old boys. Kinda makes my job seem a bit silly, doesn't it? Anyway, and yet even he knows that it's grown so far beyond that, and the fans have grown with the series in a great, important way. So he didn't offer a lot of advice except, you'll get this. But in a strange turn of events, as Kathleen Kennedy, the president of Lucasfilm, describes, Lucas couldn't help but chime in with a seemingly brilliant idea. He had intended to just kind of stop by and say hi, and he stayed for five hours. There's even one little moment in a scene that, I can't tell you what, sorry, but in the scene on the Millennium Falcon where George said, why didn't, why didn't, the, well, nah, nah, you know, you know, nah. George said, why doesn't Han just do this? It actually is a funny little bit that will probably get a laugh. And Ron happened to be by the monitor and not inside the Falcon, and he goes, oh that's a great idea, and ran in and said, George wants us to do this. So that was pretty cool, I think George felt pretty great about that. He could revisit these characters, and I think he felt so comfortable, obviously with Ron being there, that it was just fun for him. Even upon returning to his estranged brainchild, it seems as if George Lucas feels nothing but inspired to help shape his very own characters and creations. But what do you make of his involvement? And what do you think this specific scene will entail? Let me know in the comments below. If you learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. And for weekly content on all things Han Solo, press that subscribe button and notification bell to keep a locked here. To the Karen Kazan.